Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my 15th week of pregnancy. I know I say this like every week, but I still can't believe it's been 15 weeks. I don't know how the rest of you moms felt when you first found out that you were pregnant, but it seemed like for the first like two or three weeks, but like every single day, and maybe I was just getting used to being pregnant and finding new ways of doing things and eating things and exercising. Time seemed to go by really slow, but nowadays it's like boom, another week, boom, another week. It's crazy how time flies when you're having fun being pregnant. So disclaimer, this choker is like the bane of my existence today. I cannot get it to like look even for the freaking life of me. So it's just gonna look kind of uneven as we kind of go through this and I know it does and I'm tired of messing with it so it's just gonna be like this. So last week was a very good week in pregnancy for me. Baby is now the size of an avocado, which is insane. Basically every week the baby is doubling in size now. So every Sunday Brandon and I sit down together and we use an app and we read through the developments that are coming this week and how big the baby is now. And so basically everything on the baby has developed up until this point, like all the main functioning organs and everything and it's just kind of going through the motions of getting bigger now. Around 20 weeks, 20, 21 weeks, I believe it's supposed to be around one pound. And then it's only gonna keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which is a very, very good thing. And also this week, baby can bend its knees, which means that very soon, I will most likely be able to start feeling a kick. So that's super exciting and I cannot wait for it. So at the beginning of this week, I think it was Monday, I was laying down in bed, kind of trying, just kind of like laying there, Brandon was reading next to me, and I just kind of felt a weird fluttering. I don't know if it was fluttering, yeah, I guess that's how I, the best that I could describe it. Kind of like a little goldfish kind of feeling in my stomach, kind of flittering around right at the top of my stomach. Not the very, very top of it, but towards the top of it. So I don't know what that was. I don't know if that was the baby that I was feeling. It kind of felt like it might be, or if it was just something else my body was doing at that point. Because at this point, my uterus is expanding and ligaments are stretching, and so I'm feeling all kinds of random aches and pains throughout the day and night. And speaking of night, it has been so difficult for me to sleep at night, like significant insomnia. And it's always around the same time every single night. Between 2 and 3 a.m. I will wake up for no apparent reason. And I'm wondering if that is because that's the time the baby is awake and so the baby is waking me up. And normally I have to pee anyway, so it's not a problem, I just get up and pee. And I'd say majority of the time, it takes a while to fall back to sleep. Every now and then, I can just get up, go to the bathroom, come back, and I'll be right back out. But I'd say most of the time, it probably takes me a good hour, hour and a half after that to fall back to sleep. And also, it's been really, really hard for me to figure out new ways of sleeping in terms of sleeping positions because you are not supposed to lay down on your back after your first trimester, it's not good for the baby. I can't remember the specific reasons, there's medical reasons why, but it's just, it's not good for the baby to sleep on your back. So, you can't sleep on your stomach, obviously, it's not comfortable, so you're left with sleeping on your sides. And in the middle of the night, I'll wake up with these aches on the sides of my body, like my hips, and it's just soreness from sleeping there. So in order to combat that, what I've been doing is putting a large pillow between my legs, but sometimes even that doesn't seem to help. A couple of days ago, I purchased a body pillow for pregnancy on Amazon. I believe it was from Leech Co. I'll show it to you guys in my next video. It's mauve colored and I will also give you a kind of like first impressions on it to see if it feels like it's actually helping me sleep or really doing anything. It looks like it'll help me sleep and feel more comfortable sleeping on my side, so we will see. Also this past week, a couple of days ago, I should say, I purchased a yoga ball. I've been doing pelvic exercises at my gym using 
their yoga ball, but now I will be able to do them at home as well, so that is exciting. Also some very exciting things this past week. Brandon and I went to the women's march that they had here in downtown Portland. And I remember the weeks leading up to it, I was really kind of nervous because at least after the election, there were a lot of protests that became very violent, and I definitely didn't want to put myself or my baby in any kind of a violent situation. So we waited until the day of, until I really felt like, okay, this is a completely safe and secure event, and I will be able to go and have a lot of fun and be really inspired. And that is exactly what happened. There were 100,000 people there. In the weeks leading up to it, it was only estimated to be 25 to 35,000, but the day of, over 100,000 people showed up, and I was like, baby's first protest, it's so exciting. Portland is known for their protests, for their political opinions. They are very, very vocal when it comes to issues. Every single week, I feel like there is a protest about something. People are very, very passionate here. When someone is passionate about an issue, they let you know about it. People are very strong when it comes to their convictions here in Portland, which is a very good thing. I love that about this town. Anyway, the march was really fun. It was really rainy and really cold. We got there, we took the bus downtown because we knew that there was going to be like no parking and a lot of the streets were going to be blocked off. So we caught the bus right down the road from us and we're able to take the bus just within a few blocks of the start of the march. So we got there around 11, the rally started around noon and then the actual march started at one. And by the time the actual march started, it was actually like 12.45, I said to Brandon, I'm like, my feet are numb, I'm cold, I need to start moving, like let's move somewhere else. So we moved towards the front and actually it was like, it was a dance party at the front. It was amazing. There was a drum line, people were just excited to be there and really feeding off of each other's energy. And no matter what your political views are, I really don't care, but it is just an amazing thing to see so many people that care about a cause or many causes, in this case it was women's rights and human's rights, come together and peacefully demonstrate their opinions and how they feel. It was 100% safe, there were zero arrests, it was 100% peaceful. The police officers were guarding us along the route. They had certain streets blocked off and they were just amazing. Some of them were wearing the pink hats and a lot of them had roses and were taking pictures with people. And everyone was saying, thank you so much for being here. So I keep a pregnancy journal. It's actually the belly book, which I, actually, I don't have. It's downstairs right now, so I can't actually go quickly grab it. But maybe I'll show it to you guys the next video that I make with 16. But in my pregnancy journal, I wrote down, like, we took you to your first protest and, you know, you better learn the Portland way soon. It was just, it was amazing. It was an amazing thing. It felt like I was sharing the experience not only with my significant other, but also with my baby as well. So that's all I really have for you guys this week. I really, really want to do more about nutrition and fitness coming up, maybe next week. I think I'll have to write something down. Maybe I'll kind of do a vlog giving you kind of like a what I ate Wednesday. Let me know if you guys would like something like a what I ate Wednesday type of vlog video where I show you what I eat on a daily basis, on a Wednesday, obviously, and, or Tuesday. I would film it on a Tuesday and then upload it on a Wednesday. So that's actually, that's a really good idea. So that will probably be part of next week's video. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Leave down in the comments anything you would like me to know, any advice if any of you mamas out there have any good opinions or advice on your 15th week of pregnancy and beyond love to hear them also if you guys have any really good product recommendations about sleeping what put you to sleep so if there were certain lotions or certain types of pillows or music or anything anything that helped you fall asleep and stay asleep while you're pregnant or helped make your sleep more comfortable i would love 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 to know about them. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys follow me on social media and subscribe down below and we'll see you in my next video.
video. Bye!